What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? This is Walking by Faith, and uh, I got a question for all these people who are yearning and following the soon recome, uh, the soon return of Messiah. Cause uh, I get, I'm, I'm getting attacked by people for speaking out against this deception, and that's fine. I'll take it. I will take it. I'm very rough skinned, and when I go ten toes down on something, you ain't moving me. You ain't shaking me. Let's let's make that clear right now. You ain't moving nothing. You ain't shaking nothing. But nevertheless. My question is this, how many more times does your faith have to be crushed for dates to be set and don't come to fruition before you wake up and open your eyes and see that you're being deceived? How many more people have to die before y'all wake up and see that, that you're being lied to? How many more people have to lose or how many more people are going to lose their jobs or quit their jobs and sell off everything waiting for Messiah's soon return? How many more failed dates do you need before you see that you are being lied to? Because there have been multiple dates set by multiple false prophets. You got Rapture at Twilight. You got Pearl Caleri, Genevieve Brazil. Uh, uh, Rapture at Twilight is now Minister uh, Minister Christine. And what whatever happened to that 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 Rapture date that that was supposed to happen last year on seven seventeen? We're still here, aren't we? We're still here, right? I'm still here. You're still here, right? Right. How many more times are you going to keep falling for this deception before you peel the layer of scales off your eyes to see that you're being deceived? Dr. Barry All is another false prophet that set a date just this uh, supposed uh, uh, Pentecost. And he set a date in between the 6th and the 8th or the 6th and the 9th, whichever it was. It came. It passed. It didn't come to fruition. But yet you're still clinging on to this lie and this deception. You are being deceived by Satan himself and Satan's workers who are pushing this rapture. The funny part about Satan is Satan is so convoluted and Satan is so delusional to the point where he actually believes his own lies. He actually believes that he is higher than Father God. He actually believes that he is going to win when it's already have been written in scriptures that he has lost. I don't understand people. I, I like I, I I don't understand. How many more disappointments do you need before you see that there is not going to be a rapture? It's funny how so many people want to sit here and defend this rapture doctrine to the death. And they will attack and 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 criticize and come against anybody who speaks against it. But yet, multiple people, mo again, multiple days have came and passed, and we're still here. Haven't you noticed that after every day set, a little, bit, uh, every, a little bit of time will pass, everything will plateau, everybody will get their boo-hoos out because Messiah didn't come back? And then the next date comes and then is and, and then you're hyped up all over again. 
Don't you see the emotional roller coaster that these people and Satan are putting you through? Don't you see that? Like seriously. The... How many more times are y'all going to have to go, uh, get your faith crushed to see that you're that you you the only way you're going to escape is if Father God shortens your days and calls you home. Father God is love and peace and joy and happiness. Father God is not confusion and high and low emotional roller coasters, uh, high points and low points, depression, suicide, anxiety. That is nothing of father. That is straight from the enemy himself. The accuser of brethren, the prince of lies, the prince of this world. The lion that walks to and fro on the earth, seeking who he may devour, kill, steal, and destroy. Don't you see that we're in a war right now? Don't you see all the spiritual... <coughs> <clears throat> Don't you see all the spiritual attacks that's, that keeps getting ramped up? Don't you know that there's a war in heaven right now in between good and evil, in between Father God's angels and Satan's demons? And eventually that's going to sp spill down here onto the earth. What's going on in the spiritual realm will, will eventually spill over and manifest into this plane, into this realm. Satan doesn't care nothing about you. He doesn't care about his puppets or the demons that serve him or the Luciferians that sell out to him. He don't care about nobody but himself. Messiah and Father God is not like that. Messiah and Father God will not bring you through emotional roller coasters by setting dates to only turn around and be destroyed or crushed or disappointed or send you into such a deep depression that you will take your own life, which is a sin, by the way, and you will go straight to hell for killing yourself because you died in your sins. The biggest lie and the biggest deception that, that, that Satan has ever, the biggest wool that he pulled over everybody's eyes in the world was that he didn't exist. That was the best deception and the best lie he ever came up with. And then he came up with all these other little, uh, little trinkets, little splinters or little side things like the once saved, always saved in rapture. You people really need to wake up and smell the coffee. Now is the time to draw close to Father and get and stay, get and stay under his wings of protection. Now, before it's too late, you are covered in the blood of Messiah. Messiah and Father God will sustain you through anything. He will put that divine protection and hedge of protection around you. He will send his warring angels to take charge over you that no harm will come to you. You people need to wake up. Seriously. There is no rapture. And I don't know how many more times Y'all have to have a date set and then it passed and come to fruition and you're still here scratching your heads wondering why you were not whisked out of here. Stop following man and start following Messiah and Father God. The ones who can either restore and keep your everlasting soul 
or the ones that can destroy your everlasting soul and, send, and throw you into the lake of fire or the Gehenna. Stop following man. Because man deceive and men will lead you straight to the pits of hell. The Holy Spirit, Father God, and Messiah won't. Who do you trust? Do you trust man or do you trust your creator, the one that created you, that knitted you in the womb, that knew you before you were even in your mother's womb? He knows everything about you. He knows what you're going to say before you say it. He knows what you're going to think before you think it. He knows what path you're going to take before you take it. Because he is omnipotent and omniscient. He is the most high. He is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. He is your creator, not man. So stop putting your trust in man or woman for that matter. Wake up. I am warning y'all. If y'all don't wake up and stop following man and putting your trust in man, you're going to go where you don't want to go. There are going to be a plethora of Christians that are going to hell. Because they put their faith in man and not in Father God, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit alone. Y'all need to wake up. And wake up quick. Because time is running out. Even though there's a lot more prophecy that needs to be fulfilled. I have the heart of Father and it literally... Rips and shreds my heart into a million pieces to see Father God's children be destroyed and, and perish for lack of knowledge. There's a passage of scripture in the Bible that says, Study to show thyself approved unto Father. Not study to show thyself approved unto men. Study to show thyself approved unto Father. A workman not, need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Trust in Father with all your might, your soul, your spirit. Lean not unto your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will guide your path. Doesn't say man's going to guide your path. He will guide your path. It doesn't say men will sustain you. Father, your creator, sustains you. So wake up before it's too late. And you better choose wisely because you only get one chance at life. You only get one chance. And that's all you get. Every choice that you make, every good or bad deed that you do in this temporary body down here on earth will determine where your eternal resting place is going to be. It's your choice. That's where your free will comes in. Father God gave us free will to choose. So what are you going to choose? You're going to choose heaven or you're going to choose hell? Now is the time to make that decision while you can, while you're still breathing. Because once Father God takes your last breath out of your body, it's over with. It is over with. So with that being said, I pray that you will heed the warnings. I pray that you will follow Father God, Messiah, and and the Holy Spirit alone and not men. Test the spirits. With that being said, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. 
Father, bless you. Father, keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.